Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have is this big equation. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna say what it is. You can see it's a big equation. We have brackets, we have parentheses, and a lot of students get confused when we introduce brackets because we don't do a lot of problems with brackets, but really all brackets are is like a, another parenthesis, right? So whenever I see brackets and parentheses, or even just parentheses, I automatically say, all right, I need to simplify this down to a two-step equation. So when I'm simplifying, I gotta apply my order of operations. So we look at the farthest out um, parentheses, which are our brackets, and we say, all right, can I simplify, simplify inside of this? And you say, yes. So then let's go to the innermost ones. And so I look inside here and say, all right, but in these parentheses, can I simplify? No. So now I work outside. Is there any exponents or powers? No, but I do see I have the product, three times, the, um, three times one minus n, and two, negative two times one times or one plus n. So I am gonna apply that operation first. Everything outside this bracket, I'm not worried about right now. So the first operation I can apply is gonna be multiplication inside of my bracket. So therefore, I'll just rewrite everything. Three times one is three. Three times negative n is a negative three n. Negative two, make sure you bring that ne uh, the subtraction sign. Negative two times one is negative two. Negative 2 times n is going to be a negative 2n equals 14. Now, a lot of times I rewrite them. I'm going to do a little shortcut here and just say, all right, let's combine the, um, the variables and let's combine our numbers. Because um, now we have no more multiplying or dividing. Now it's just adding and subtracting. Um, so I'm just going to combine them. So I have 7n plus 2. 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. Negative 3n minus negative 2n is a negative 5n equals 14. Now, you can still use the brackets, or if you want to rewrite them as parentheses, they represent the same thing. They just want us to, or they're called grouping symbols. They just want us to group these terms together. Now, I see, is there anything else I can simplify in here? No. So now, outside parentheses, I, I go back again. Is there any exponents or powers? No. Um, is there any product? Yes, there is a product. I have 2 times every term inside the bracket. So therefore, I have 7n plus 2 times 1 is 2. And positive 2 times negative 5n is a negative 10n equals 14. And I'm still not at a two-step equation yet, because I, need, I can now combine these two n's. 7n minus 10n is a negative 3n plus 2 equals 14. Now I have a two-step equation. Now I can go and solve using my regular solving techniques. So to do that, I will just subtract the two on both sides. And I get negative 3n is equal to 12. Divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and equals negative 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a multi-step equation with double parentheses and brackets. Woohoo!